I was on a podcast here in Nashville, Tennessee yesterday, and the host asked me, what can somebody do in 2024 to become wealthy? And the answer has always been the same. If you want to become wealthy, the way that you do that is you take your money and you go out and you buy investments. And so then the response the host gave me is, well, what about during a time when the stock market is high and you have high inflation and people are struggling just to get by? And again, the answer stays the same. If you want to become wealthy, the way that you do that is by taking some of the money that you're making and putting it into investments, whether it's stocks or real estate or businesses. These are assets that have built more wealth than anything else over the last century. And the interesting thing about today's economy is that investing has become so much more accessible, which is a good thing. But that accessibility has also created a lot more of a short-term mindset when it comes to investing. How do I know that? Well, I've talked to a lot of people about this. For example, I would take my old change recently. Talking to my mechanic about investing, he knew who I was, and he was telling me that he got involved in the stock market for a little while, but didn't see the returns that he wanted, so he started putting his money into cryptocurrency and saw some big gains, but hasn't put any more money into the cryptocurrency market. And I said, well, how long did you put your money into the stock market for? And he said, three months. See, if you want to invest your money and become wealthy, investing is a long-term game. This isn't something that you do for just a few months or a few years if you want to become wealthy. And there are concerns about the economy. There are concerns about interest rates. There are concerns about inflation. All these things are 100% valid. But if you look at the stock market or any asset class, any strong asset class for the last century, what you'll see is that there are booms and busts. There are times when markets went up and there are times when markets went down. And the way that you become successful is by consistently investing your money into whatever asset that you're looking to invest in. Now, which assets should you be investing in? Should it be stocks? Should it be real estate? Should it be your own business? And this, again, is going to depend on you. There are people that have become incredibly wealthy in the real estate market that never touch stocks. There are people that have become incredibly wealthy in the stock market that never touch real estate. There are people that have become incredibly wealthy as business owners that never touched a stock and real estate. So the question is, what do you understand? How can you play to your strengths and how can you be, build wealth for yourself? Now, these are topics that I'm going to be talking about in my wealth building workshop on February 6th, which by the way is a free and live workshop. It's going to be my first ever wealth building workshop that I'll be hosting where in the morning and evening, I have two times where I'm going to be hosting this on February 6th. I'm going to be going over how you can build a financial plan, how you can build a financial system, how you can start generating cash flow and build a wealth system in 2024 based off of today's economy. So if you'd like to join me for free, I got the link for you down in the description below. But this is where it is so important for you to understand that there's a lot of headlines out there. There's a lot of news out there, which is important to understand. But don't let short term financial news affect your long term investing decisions. Like we just got the news of inflation coming in better than expected. Uh, the new PCE reports and core inflation reports said that inflation came in better than expected. And so you have a lot of traders saying, oh, great. This means that the Federal Reserve Bank is going to cut interest rates sooner than expected, that the Federal Reserve Bank is going to be able to cut interest rates even more than expected. Well, sure, maybe, but we don't know what's going to happen next month or the month after that or the month after that. We don't know what's going to happen with inflation. We don't know what the government's going to do. There are so many different other variables out there. And so to make your investment, your long term investment decisions, based off of short-term financial news is a very dangerous game. And unfortunately, many people live in this mindset of either A, I'm looking for the perfect opportunity to invest my money, or B, I'm not going to invest my money because I have other priorities. Now, both of these are very important to understand, and I don't care how old you are or where you are in your financial career or how much money you're making. These are two very important things that you need to understand because number one, you cannot time the market. I don't care who you are. Nobody knows when the market's going to go down. Nobody knows when the market's going to go up. We know the markets go down. This is a fact. The United States has seen a recession pretty much every decade for the last century. This is a fact. Now, can you see big returns by investing during a recession? Absolutely. That is going to give you the opportunity to see some of the biggest gains and some of the biggest returns is investing where nobody else is when everybody else is running away. However, what we also know is that time is one of the most powerful factors when it comes to investing your money. So now, if you are an investor, you're thinking about putting your money to work, 
but you're just waiting for the perfect opportunity, it becomes very difficult because now you have a lot of different strategies playing around in your head. See, if you're trying to make that perfect investment, well, what are you investing in? Are you investing in individual companies? Are you investing in funds? What is it that you're investing in? And now when people say, well, I'm investing in individual companies, well, if you're investing in individual companies, do you know how to analyze the company? Do you know how to research the company? Do you know how to keep up with the earnings calls? See, most people are looking for the next hot stock without knowing how to analyze any of these stocks. So that's the first thing you want to think about. Then the next thing is, well, if you're not going to be investing in stocks, individual companies, and you're going to be investing in funds, what would it take for your fund to really go down to zero? Because if you, for example, invested into the S&P 500, the largest 500 companies in the stock market, well, now for your fund to go down to zero, that would mean that essentially the stock market would have to go to zero. That our entire United States economy is collapsing, at which point your retirement account is probably going to be the least of your worries. And so this is where if your goal is to start building this long-term wealth that you don't have to worry about, that will just build on autopilot, one of the simplest and easiest ways to do that is just to invest your money into the stock market. There are so many different funds that you can look at, whether it's ETFs, index funds, mutual funds. Every week, every two weeks, every month, you just keep hammering away, put in some more money into these funds. Now, I can't tell you what to do, but I'll tell you what I do. For me, I have a couple of different strategies. Every Wednesday, I have a passive strategy where money leaves my checkings account and is automatically invested into my portfolio of ETFs. This happens whether the market's up or whether the market's down. It does not matter. My money is constantly being invested Wednesday after Wednesday after Wednesday. Why did I pick Wednesday? Because it's in the middle of the week. No secret sauce to that. But I also have a strategy where I invest in individual companies because that's something I enjoy doing. That's something that I am interested in. This takes more work. Now I am looking for better opportunities. And this is where I am looking for more price opportunities where if you see a market downturn, if I see the price of a stock go down that I'm interested in investing in, that's when I'll go out and buy more. But in both of these scenarios, I'm not worried per se about what's happening in the short term. I'm watching my strategy. If the market were to crash, my passive strategy is going to keep happening. In fact, I'll probably increase how much money I'm investing because there's more opportunity to buy more. The whole idea is now you got to understand what is a strategy that you're using when it comes to you investing your money. But then if we go a little bit deeper, the second reason why so many people will not ever become wealthy is because we create excuses as to why we're not investing money. Life is expensive. Rent is expensive. Groceries are expensive. My income is not keeping up. There's a million and one reasons as to why it is hard to make your first investment, to invest $100 every single month, or to invest whatever amount of money it is. But at the end of the day, until you make that sacrifice, until it becomes a priority for you, your wealth is never gonna happen for you. You have to make your wealth a priority, which means you have to deprioritize some of the things that are not making you wealthy. That might mean your car, that might mean your apartment, that might mean some of your furniture. That might mean some of your vacations. That might mean how you eat out. There are ways for you to now cut back on some of your expenses, which are difficult because nobody wants to hear that and nobody wants to do that. We live in a day and age where everybody wants to have the nice things today, even if we can't afford it. Buy now, pay later is one of the most booming fintech industries out there. And I know this because I invest in startups. And I have not invested in any buy now, pay later apps or programs or softwares because that doesn't align with my morals or my values. But it is one of the most booming industries out there. People have made a lot of money in the buy now, pay later industry because, well, people love the idea of buying whatever I want and not having to worry about the price today. And then if you say there's no interest, people get very excited. Although if you think about that, how can there really be no interest? Because no bank is going to let you borrow money in interest-free. So how are they letting you borrow money, quote-unquote, interest-free? Well, there's a, there's a cost to that. Number one, companies know that when you buy an up pay later, you're going to buy way more stuff. And number two, well, when you don't pay off your stuff in time because now you own so much stuff, now they're going to slap you with higher fees, higher fines that are extremely expensive. 
And this is where now you gotta go into the mindset shift of understanding what is really important. Is it the car or is it your wealth? Is it the way you look or is it your generational wealth that you wanna build? And once you decide that you wanna become wealthy, that means you're gonna have to make some changes. The first changes you might are gonna have to make are gonna have to cut back on some of your expenses. When you start cutting back on some of those expenses, you'll start having some extra cash. Now you start putting this money to work. You're not gonna be perfect in the beginning. You're gonna make mistakes. That's okay, don't worry about being perfect. That's not the important thing right now. The important thing is just getting started because once you get started, then you're gonna realize, maybe I don't like picking stocks. Maybe I don't like the stock market. Maybe I wanna invest in real estate. Maybe I wanna invest in my own business. But you're not gonna know this until you go out and actually do it. Which means you gotta start by understanding the mindset. Then you gotta get the cash. Then you gotta put this cash to work and then you gotta optimize that cash but it all starts with you controlling the way you think about money and understanding that becoming wealthy is important to you because it is your duty to become wealthy so you can take care of yourself, so you can take care of your family, and so you can take care of your community. And understand there's going to be a lot of headlines out there. There's going to be a lot of news about the financial news out there, which is fine. It's good for you to understand it, especially if you're a money nerd like me. You like to understand what's going on. But that news should be separate from your investing strategy. You have to understand how they kind of interact with one another, but don't be like the majority of people where the news is dictating your strategy. Your strategy has to dictate your financial decisions. The news helps you understand what's going on. You have to understand how these two play a part in one another. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow, and I also wanna see you on my Wealth Building Workshop on February 6th.